Hello everyone and welcome to the review of Unit 3, Paris Slows Down. Now, earlier uh, we spoke about uh, the positives of the plan in Paris to slow down the speed limit to 30 kilometers per hour. Mm. Or I should say 30 kilometers an hour, I'm not sure the phrasing. Mm. And uh, most of the benefits were cyclists, elderly people and pedestrians would be much safer. Elderly. Elderly. Now, I didn't talk about a lot of the negatives, and some of the Paris residents mm -hmm. are actually expressing a lot of displeasure over the fact that this is going to slow down their commute and right. getting around Paris a lot harder. Taxi drivers are also very frustrated because they charge by the minute. So they understand this is going to cause an issue with their passengers mm -hmm. getting around. Uh, maybe there's more congestion for them. Congestion. Congestion. All of this is because, well, the 2024 Olympic Games are coming up soon in Paris, you know, a little less than three years away, mm -hmm. and they are wanting to make it a lot more friendly. And so they plan to actually make, you know, roads along the river completely changed to bicycle paths, mm -hmm. walking paths for pedestrians. They are going to make four areas of the district, the very popular areas, mm -hmm. close to non-resident drivers, just off limits. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they say this is going to make it uh, a lot safer and also reduce by 40% the vehi vehicular fatalities. Or, That's you know, a lot. Deaths by car accidents, whether hitting people, other cars. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of reduction mm -hmm. and improved to safety. And so the mayor of Paris is really pushing for this and trying to speak of the positives. You know, I don't want to mention just the negatives. Off limits. Off limits. Vehicular fatality. Vehicular fatality. I wanted to ask you yes. uh, and different perspectives about working in city or suburb. Mm -hmm. Why do people choose to live in suburbs and work in cities? Um, I think it's it's always convenient to live close to your work. But um, if you work in the city, it's also very expensive to mm. live in the city. Or right. the apartments are much smaller. So if you live in a suburb, then you can live in a larger house right. for a much lower amount of money. Suburb. Suburb. So I think living in the suburb, I would like to someday live in the suburb, although I live in the city now. <laughs> right. Uh, I totally agree with that. And that's kind of the whole like idea of Texas is, mm -hmm. you know, pe Texans are moving further and further out. Our suburbs are becoming city. Like it's okay. hard to distinguish the two now. Right, like Kyungi and Seoul. Right, we just keep building out and just flat in Texas, so mm -hmm. it's very easy to do that. Um, and a lot of people I knew would commute 45 minutes, an hour, hour and a half. That was wow normal. Um, I recently moved and my commute is now right around 46, 48 minutes. Okay, which very is, precise. Yeah, <laughs> I've got it timed out. Um, but it's just pretty long by most Seoul resident standards. That's true. Um, I'm not suburb yet, but I'm very close to suburb. Okay. Um, and it's just convenience. It's cheaper living, you can get a better place, mm -hmm. and the d drawback is yeah, you have to go into long city. Long commutes. Yeah. Now, is your hometown or mm -hmm. areas you know, is it more uh, pedestrian, cyclist friendly, or what improvements could they make? Pedestrian. Pedestrian. I think that it is not unfriendly. Um, there's not mm -hmm. a lot of traffic, okay. so it yeah. is very convenient um, to take a bicycle. Um, but in terms of pedestrian friendly, um, there's definitely sidewalks, which is always mm -hmm. a good thing when you have walkers or pedestrians. Um, but the one problem is that it's very spread out. Ah, I see. Um, so you have to walk very far to get any place. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so if you want to go to a store or go to a restaurant, um, it's a long walk. Right. So in that sense, it's not very pedestrian. <laughs> How that about is your true. hometown? Well, San Antonio, Texas, where I'm specifically from, um, it is by land size, it's uh, the seventh largest city in the U.S., which sounds crazy, high number, but mm. it felt small to me. 
okay. compared to where I've been in Texas. Uh, but like you said, while it was fairly safe to walk alongside the roads, um, it was so far that mm. it was unreasonable to walk. Mm -hmm. Like even driving from my house to the closest Starbucks, it was a, on average, 10 to 12 minute drive. Right. Drive. And drive. that's not like <laughs> lots of city lights, that's just driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's not like the Starbucks around the corner here in Seoul. You can right. just find them everywhere. Uh -huh. um, there could be a lot of improvements to many American cities. Yes. Um, Public transportation being one of them. If you're majorly. walking, sometimes you want to get on the train. And if there is no train or bus or taxi, we didn't even have taxis up in town. <laughs> so once yeah. you were out, you were out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we didn't have trains in where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So my image, maybe, although stereotypical of Connecticut, is mm -hmm. more of a sleepy state. We oh. are a sleepy state. Yeah. Yes. So hopefully you don't take insult to that. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of the attractions. It is. Also yeah. one of the drawbacks. <laughs> that's true. All right. And that's it for our review section. And we hope to see you on the next one.